So I'm gonna do a unboxing, well I already opened it, but an um, unboxing video of, of some stuff I bought from Wesper. Uh, there's some boots I got that I've been waiting on. The other stuff's not really exciting stuff, but I figured I'd show you. Les voy a enseñar unas cosas que agarré, especialmente unas, unas botas que tenía tiempo que estaba esperando para, para, para usarlas. Son unas botas nuevas que les voy a enseñar. Y, y unas sogas que yo recomiendo por el precio. Y unas bolsas que agarré. Este, y lo que viene en la caja cuando ordenan uno de Westford. So I'm going to show you what you get from Westford when you order. You guys probably already know. You get a catalog. You get a calendar. Uh, this calendar is special this year. The reason being, to me at least, if you go to, uh, let's see, October, I think it is, let's see. October, I don't know if you recognize that loser in October. If you recognize him, comment. Anyways, and there's some other cool people in here too. Uh, I, just, I got a big rope bag. Uh, I'm, gonna, we're, I'm gonna try to equip the, this other truck we got uh, this year. So that's why I kinda got some of the stuff. Uh, this is a big rope bag from Westford. It's pretty nice. Uh, this ProMaster rope, I recommend because it's real cheap and it's good for natural crotching. You don't need, you don't need any hardware and you can just abuse, abuse the rope and you don't feel bad as opposed of having like a more expensive rope, you know, dragging in the dirt and natural crotching. You don't want to do that with the, those higher end ropes. So I recommend this rope. I use it all the time. And it's a real strong rope, so I really recommend it uh, because of the price and because you could abuse of it. Uh, yo recomiendo esta soga porque está bien barata comparada a, a las otras sogas. Este es una soga que uno pueda usar. No tienes que usar este poleas ni 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 los aparatos que se necesita para correr la otra soga más este una, la otra soga más fina que Se llama un ejemplo. Como que tengo el libro. Uh, sogas como el uh, uh, Stable Braid de Samson o el Niestron de Samson. Son sogas que no puedo usar sin sin uh, aparatos o poleas. So I was just explaining how you wouldn't want to use like Samson rope, the like the stable braid and stuff like that with without any hardware because you, you burn it up and damage it. And that's why I recommend using this rope. Uh, you can cut time on installing hardware. Of course, it's it has its place on, on the job site, but it's a uh, real good rope. I recommend it. And it's a lot cheaper than the other stuff. Uh, this is a half inch, half inch, and this one is, uh, I think, five eighths. Yeah, five eighths, and they're both 150 feet. I got some slings for, uh, this is a quarter wrap sling. I'm not going to open it, and you guys know what it looks like. Looks like. Esta es para, para la pole, para la, no sé cómo se llama. Es el aparato que va pegado abajo en el árbol para ayudar a bajar uh, ramas o madera pesada. El quarter wrap. Pues les voy a enseñar. No sé cómo se llama esto en español. Si saben cómo se llama, manden un mensaje para saber. This, so este, es para, este es para instalar este en el árbol. I was explaining how this sling is for the quarter wrap. There's another sling for the pulley. Uh, just rope bags. Bolsas para guardar las sogas. 
Esta soga es nueva de Westford. This is a new bag from Westford. I put my 150 climbing rope with my zigzag in here. That's why I got this. It was compact. You'll throw it over your shoulder when you're SRTing and immediately go into double rope with your zigzag. Well, that's the way I like to do it. Uh, this thing I saw, it's the Fifi hook, I think it's called. It, it uh, goes on your um, chest harness to pull up your whatever device you're using to do SRT. Este gancho es para, para trepar con, uh, con una línea, ya sea la, con el hitch climber, con el rope wrench. Este, es más fácil para conectarse uno al, al sistema que tenga uno. So I was explaining how this is easier to hook in and hook out of um, whatever SRT device you're using. So I haven't used it. It seems like it should work a lot better than those little uh, carabiners that kind of suck you're trying to get in there and you look, look, you feel awkward and then you look funny trying to clip in. This will probably reduce some of that. Uh, and finally, these, uh, these boots. They're chainsaw proof, waterproof. They look like uh, snowboard boots or moon boots. Uh, what are they called? The boots? Hikes. You pronounce it hikes, I guess. Um, not steel toe, but safety toe. They're kind of heavy. Uh, the sole or the, I don't know, the liner in here, it's real stiff. Stiffer than like a Wesco. Uh, I just got them because they were waterproof and I've, I've never used any cut resistant boots or cut proofs or whatever they are. Um, so yeah, they seem like pretty cool. I'll see how they do with an actual work. Now that I see them and feel them, I don't know how well they do. On spurs, it seems like they'll do real well. Uh, I like mine to be, my shoes to be kind of flexible to, to climb and get in the canopy. Esta es una bota nueva, hikes. No creo que tenga mucho tiempo afuera. Es un es nueva. Pues para mí es nueva. Yo no, nunca la he visto. Este es uh, protección para las motosierras y son de contra el agua. Y tienen casquillo no de metal sino de plástico. Este, so déjenme saber qué, qué, qué piensan o qué quieren ver o si les gusta el video o no. So let me know if what you guys think, what you guys want to see. Uh, this stuff is going into a, a, another truck we got. Um, so I won't be using it. But I'm just trying to equip it with the basic stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me know.